So this video is going to be pretty different to my other ones. I was going through going through some of my old great grandpa's tools and I found well, I found lots of them but most interestingly I found this axe and I thought it'd be quite nice to film me restoring it. So I've got to pop to the hardware store, grab a few paints for the handle, sandpaper, running a bit low on it. Um, and when I'm back, get started on restoring it. So I just got back from the hardware store. I got got some 220 grit, 220 grit sandpaper. I'll leave links to all of these in the description if I can find them on Amazon or something. So, 220 grit sandpaper. This is some. Um, old sand, sandpaper I found at my great grandpa's and I got this crimson red satin paint I thought kind of matches the axe head and kind of a mustard yellow to go on the handle it's a bit brighter but I think it'll do I think I'm going to start by sanding the axe handle because so I don't really have the right wood or knowledge to make a new handle. I probably could, but I think you can't get more original than the original. So I'm just going to sand it off, sand, not off, but I'm going to sand all of the scuffs and stuff, sand this paint off. Yeah. Just starting with some 120 grit. I think I'm just going to put a little biro line on each side so I can see where to put the masking tape when painting the handle. Hopefully that doesn't sand off but that should do. That will give me a gauge where the yellow starts. Just used a chisel to get some of the paint off, it being a bit stubborn. Now I've got most of the paint off. Not really too bothered about them. They're just really in the cracks, so it's a bit harder to get out. But as long as it's a smooth surface to paint on, not really got any idea what I'm doing whilst doing this restoration but I've got a bit of WD-40 I saved from the bottom of a can I need to get some more of that but I've got this and I think this will do so I think I'm just going to put a bit on and then sand it if I can find my file file two little notches so that I can know where the paint goes to. So. There, if 
you can see I've just put the focus little notches there and there and then on the bottom there and there as well as masking that off a couple of inches down so I don't get any oil on it not really sure that it would matter and I can just sand it off but let's get get to the head I've got a seven pound weight here so I can Send it like that and it doesn't slip back. That's keeping it in place nicely. Just put it into this little bottle so I can dispense it more easily than if it was in the jam jar. See, there's a little, little bit of mushrooming, really only on this side. So I'm just gonna take that back a little bit with this file. It's not a very big one. It's one of my great grandpas, again, but I think it'll do the job. <laughs> most of the mushrooming uh, just file it down a bit there a little bit that side as well and ready to get back to taking the paint off so it's a DSI axe or hatchet actually probably for this size and it's a one and a quarter pound one and a quarter pound head on it so it's a nice axe nice hatchet keep on saying that it's a nice hatchet and it's Got a nice weight to it, nice handle, and it's got a hole. It's got a hole just there, so I think it must have. The original must have had like a metal loop for hanging it, maybe. So I'll make or find one of them to put on there. Let's get back to sanding. I'm gonna move to the vice so I can do the more hard to get to places like the edge. What I'm presuming would be called the back of the axe. And some of the bits around here. So there, there, and there. I'm just going to use this file to take off a bit of the paint just get back get down to the metal wow it was rusty
you can see I've got most most of the paint and rust off a few bits just like down here you can see but I really don't think I'm going to get them off without some specialised machine like one of those sand blasters or whatever you call them but I'm going to carry on probably a little bit more off camera you've seen what I'm doing um, need to get all the stuff out from there Than that a bit more of a shine nice got rid of some of the dark patches a little bit as well but shaping up nicely sorry it just cuts off I think my camera overheated but I just taking the masking tape off that's it I think I'm gonna go out the handle for a little bit with some some of this 220 grip sandpaper is really good as I said before I'll leave a link in the description for it I highly recommend you pick it up it's just some M3 uh, 3M pro grade sandpaper really nice I was just using regular no well, I don't really know if they've redone the packaging or what they've done but just regular stuff I was using and yeah this seems much better like my hands are dirty so before I do any more work or actually start painting or anything I'm gonna go and wash them so I don't make it all messy about ready for painting now so I'm gonna mask off from the bits that I marked out and get to painting camera just died but all I did was mask off from where the notches are so that I don't get any paint on there and I've taken lots of paint off I don't really mind about these bits because they're gonna get some of this coat so some of that paint on it so what's left to do I've been doing a bit of research and you can actually apparently varnish at least seal the wood with WD-40 so I think that's the method I'm going to go with not the most conventional but it's meant to work so let's get to it
that looks really good actually. So now what I'm going to do, give it a quick little sand where the yellow paint is going to go. And then mask it off. That's as far as I'm going to go with the sanding. And I'm going to do it on the bottom bit as well. This is just finished drying, just about. I think the handle's still a bit tacky, but I can keep away from that for the moment. Super, super, super clean line. I actually really like the contrast between the matte red and the shiny silver. Now, get the rest off the handle and then sharpen it. I must say I'm very, very happy with the result. It's got a Really nice clean handle. I'll touch up the paint a little bit there. But on the whole, it's come out really well. It's got a little bit of paint that came off when I was unmasking it, but I'm just going to give the handle and the head probably a couple more hours to dry. Just completely there. Almost dry. Tiny bit tacky, but you don't really leave fingerprints in them. Paint splattered a little bit, but I don't really think it matters. See you in a couple of hours for some touching up and sharpening. I've got my belt sander here. I just put the back of it in my vise there. And I'm just going to use that to give it a nice edge just along there. I've got an axe sharpening stone somewhere, but I find that this gives a much much better edge and it lasts longer I think but I think after I've after I've given it a go with this to get a kind of a rough edge I'm gonna use a sharpening stone.
done. It's giving it a really nice, really nice edge there, and feels very sharp already. I think that's all for this build slash restoration, and I don't really need to go at it with a sanding stone. It's already got a really nice edge. Got this bit of card here, and. That's pretty nicely for only being sharpened on a belt sander and I think it would just be a bit overkill with a sharpening stone. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different to my other ones but I thought it would be nice to film and I'm actually really happy with the outcome. The WD-40 varnish on the wood actually worked really well. It feels like proper varnish so you can try that if you want if you have no other alternatives the paint is a really nice clean line there's the symbol probably throw some cinematic shots over this talking but yeah I'm very happy you might have seen when I was painting but I added a little screw eye kind of thing so it can be hung maybe I'll add a leather strap at some point in the future but overall I'm very very happy on how it turned out got a couple of bait making video ideas so be sure to stay tuned for them